<laughs> Come on, don't tell that. Nobody knows. I remember this very well. That's a fall, by the way. Yeah, this is definitely one of those that can go viral. <laughs> It is a first Manchester City goal for Ruben Diaz. So Ruben, normally it's the forwards and midfielders that get the viral videos, but today we're looking at viral videos from defenders like you. What sorts of things can cause a defender to go viral, would you say? I think essentially uh, many times it depends on the game, how the game is going. If it's like if you're winning 4-0, if it's 0-0 and you make a decisive tackle, for example, I think the context makes how important it is. And then obviously the, the tackle itself or the, the slide cuts, uh, it also depends. And essentially when, when it is almost a clear goal and you manage to, to take it off, uh, I think that just uh, makes it even bigger. What are the typical characteristics that defenders normally have? Typical characteristics. Uh, I think before the the technical part, it comes the the mentality. I think all defenders were those guys at school that uh, when they would love football, so they were strikers, uh, and uh, then they would see that team uh, going through trouble, and they would go back to help. And then they would not go further anymore because they know they, need to, they needed to stay there. And what characteristics do you think fans like to see in defenders? I think it's that, that desire to, to not concede, that desire to not even able the other opponent to, to make a shoot, uh, to see how good you are with the ball, but essentially as a defender to see how, how much you love to defend, how much you love to, to help your partner in, in, in a bad situation. I think all of those things make you, make you special as a defender. It's Joe Hart, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so he tries to, to catch it, but he gets the touch from Barnes, yeah? Uh, that's a fault, by the way. Fans at City obviously loved Pablo Zabaleta. He was known as Lionheart for his work rate, his bravery. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, I usually say this as a, a basic rule. When, it, when it, you're in doubt, better two than none. And after, after what happened, and not saying if it was a fault or not, the ball was bouncing and it was a clear occasion. And you just see two guys going with everything they've got, like, get the hell out of here. Uh, and, and yeah, that's a good example of the mentality. And these are the sorts of qualities that fans enjoy, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, everyone will enjoy someone that is uh, ready to give everything for the team. There's a moment I saw you get hurt when you won against United. You and John Stones came together and I think a thumb of his maybe went into your eye. <laughs> Come on, don't tell that. Nobody knows. Let's not ruin the moment. Applauded as he gets back up to his feet. Salah heads towards goal, and Walker had to time that one perfectly. Look at that. It's Salah on the attack. I saw this one live. I remember this very well. I, I said to myself, oh, one day I want to be the one making the cut. Yeah, this is definitely one of those that can go viral. <laughs> when, when, when you want a, uh, a line of four or five, what else, uh, to connect, I think this is the most important principle of all, to, to, so that you know that your colleagues are ready for everything. They will give everything to not concede. For you, if you make a mistake, if everyone makes a mistake, they will be there for you. And I think for, for a team, for, for the team spirit, for, for even you to feel more confident, that is like a major, major thing. Both of these came against Liverpool, our biggest rivals, you'd say, right now. And it's not coincidence, is it? It's a, a big action in a big moment, in a big game. And it's also uh, sometimes 
it's in those games where you you're pushed to your limits and when it's where you have more difficulties because the opponent is better also so one thing brings the other also a special game and also uh, some of the most difficult opponents stones with the clearance comes off edison and that's cleared right off the line We're on the defensive here treore Dances past Joao Cancelo, goes inside, keeps on going and can't pull the trigger on a shot. A lot of people have said that this could have been your best game in the City shirt so far. You seem to anticipate a lot in this game. There was crosses coming in and before it even happened you were there waiting for it. Did you come away from the pitch knowing that you've had a good game that day? Yes, uh, normally you, 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 if, if you have a good mentality, normally you know when you had a better or not so good game. It's, it's, it's an evaluation process that it's important for you to get better on everything. Uh, but it's interesting that you put this one here, this tackle, because everyone was talking about it. But for me, uh, this one that you just showed me, it was far more difficult to, to, to do, to execute, because he was just ready to shoot and at all moments and he got me down and still I managed to, to take it from him. For me, this one was the, the one on, the, on that game. I, I saw it coming uh, before. Uh, uh, I saw the space. Uh, I don't know for what reason, but I was late in a moment because I, I think I had jumped on somebody, I don't know, uh, and I was coming back. And I saw the space and I saw the guy with the ball had seen it. So at the moment I just thought, he's going there. And even if it, it doesn't go there, it can go anywhere else. So I'm, I might as well just cut the space now. Uh, and, and hopefully I, I manage to, to get the ball out. Yes, went down early knowing that that ball was going to be crossed in. Stealing the ball back for City. Ball over the top for the pace of Traore. Edison's way out of his area. And wins it once this. but twice. Almost on the halfway line. This was 143 or something. What's it like as a defender playing with Edison? Is it like having another defender next to you sometimes? Obviously, it's, it's the modern keeper to be able to do this. Uh, it gives you uh, lots of confidence to, to actually know that you can play securely with a high defense because it will be there if the ball is too is too long so um, uh, i think it's uh, on a top team like this to have a, a a keeper like eddie and not just eddie also zach uh, and uh, and scott they just make us feel more comfortable edison's way out of his area and wins it not once but twice and Edison with a round of applause in the Etihad. And you got your first goal for City here. How did it feel getting that goal? <laughs> Felt very good. Well, while I was running, while I was running, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to throw myself on the floor. But then there were no fans and I was like, mm, I, I think I'm just going to turn back and, and celebrate with them. <laughs> My first instinct is, is always like, if I receive a cross, I always go direct to the to the person who crossed it. Like, all, first of all, I point at him because it's it's 50-50. Uh, if the cross was not there, you would not be able to do it. Uh, and yeah, uh, I was just very happy with my first goal. We've seen more threats from corners lately with you and John, who also scored in the same game, and also with Eimerick. Are you working a lot on this in training? Uh, yes. Uh, for a long time now, for me individually, I've, I've focused on it since two, three years. I, I've always been focused, but since two, three, three years, I've just, I've been more than focused. I've been obsessed with it to, to try to get better and uh, to try to, to be dangerous for everyone that comes. And, and obviously to, to see when you see your work pay, pay that, that your work pays off, uh, you just feel good. And, and I think this was the case. Sends that one in, it's headed home. It's Hubert Diaz who stayed forward. It is a first Manchester City goal for Hubert Diaz. 